Hello, my name is Jerome and welcome to my RC Construction YouTube channel. Today I'm going to change the hydraulic fluid on my XDRC 945 for the first time. I have run this machine probably 12 hours and I want to change the oil just to see what it looks like. The user manual that came with this says I can run it 50 hours and then I should change it. But I know with my other large excavator, by the time I get to eight to 10 hours, the oil is literally all black. So I'm gonna change this out and get an idea how often I should change it. So after removing the cover here, on the inside, there is a screw that comes out to reach the hydraulic fluid. One thing I will tell you about this machine, I can literally run it two hours using one battery. Near the end of that two hours, it starts running slower um, simply because the battery is down to about eight volts, but it will absolutely run for two hours. And when I put the battery on the battery charger, the charger will tell me that it's down to zero volts. Interesting, my other large one, 20 minutes is the max you're gonna get and it won't run anymore. So I will put links into the notes of this video to show you all the tools that I'm using. First, I use this syringe here, which is actually a turkey basting syringe. <clears throat> and at the end of this, I have two different hoses that I've teed together to stick inside of this oil tank so I can reach the oil. Um, there is no drain plug on here and I don't have any extra hydraulic lines for accessories that I could pump the oil out of. So therefore, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna have to do is suck it out through this tube. Let me reposition it so you can see. Clip this back in. All right. And let's see if I can suck it out. Yes, it's coming. I put about 70 milliliters of oil in here when I received this new and filled it up. All right, that's as far as this plunger goes. And I use this beaker to measure how much comes out. So I know how much to put back in. That was about 55 milliliters and it's dirty. It's not black, but it's dirty. And actually, that's all I'm getting now, but we're not done because I have a method of getting more oil out. So here you can see the color of the oil. It's a little, it's darker, but it's not super dark, if you can see. This is clean oil, this is the dirty oil. So with that, this is how, this is how I get more oil out of the different devices. I plug this up. Turn on the transmitter. Mm -hmm. 
and I want to go to functions, assign the hydraulic pump. So the hydraulic pump, I want to connect to this knob VRB. And I can probably just turn it. Nope, I have to tap it. Okay, so now when I turn this knob past 50%, the pump turns on. If I take it from halfway into the negative, when I move the controls, only the servos move, but the pump won't turn on. This allows me to get extra fluid out of the hydraulic cylinders. So if I put this bucket on, I will start with this big arm. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so as I move this knob to lift the big arm up and down, because the pump's not moving, it just it will just open the cylinder. And with the cylinder open, I can manually push the fluid out of there. Here we go. So I'm pushing fluid out in this direction. I push fluid in the other direction. And I'll do the same thing on the stick. I'm pushing fluid out of the cylinder manually, the other direction. Push the fluid out of there. And I can actually hear the fluid or the air blowing into the tank. And the last one, which probably should have been the first one I've done, is the bucket. Whoa. All right. So now I got excess oil out of the cylinders and into the oil tank. So again, I'll stick my hose in and see if I suck up additional oil. Yes. Still pulling. So this is how I try to get all the contaminated oil out of my machine. And let's see, we are at, I removed two ounces. And it's going from two ounces. That's a lot of oil. Almost twice as much. Yeah, there's twice as much. Now there's four ounces of oil in there. So literally half the oil was in the cylinders. Uh, there's still more coming. All right, I think that's it. So we're right at five ounces. Now remember the very beginning when I just sucked the oil out, I only had two ounces. And by exercising my cylinders, I got more than twice as much oil out. And because I measured it, I know how much to put back in. 
So I'll remove this extra tube. And I will use this syringe needle in order to put oil back into the machine. And I know I need to do about 130 milli, around 140 milliliters or exactly five ounces. So with that, let me be cautious and not accidentally spill this. I've done it in the past. Pour this in my dirty oil reservoir. And I have a container here of clean oil. This is 250 milliliters. And I removed 150. So, the syringe itself, I think this might be ounces. It is in ounces. So I have to do two full syringes. This is one. After the second syringe, I'm going to turn the pump on. That's one. That's two syringes of 40 milliliters. And I have to put some more in this bottle because the needle won't reach down far enough to get the lower parts of this bottle. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is turn the hydraulic pump on. And I'm going to do that by turning this knob that I set up with the hydraulic pump. So with this, I should have enough oil in here to start exercising the cylinders. Typically, typically, I will exercise each of these 10 times. What that does, it purges any extra air out of the cylinders. You get the idea. And so now I have a little sight gauge in here, hose, to show me where the oil level is at. And the oil, oil level, I don't see it at the halfway mark. So I'm going to put some more oil in. So far, I put close to 40 milliliters in. And with this, 
I will watch the little fill holes to see the level come up. I can see it starting to come. Mm -hmm. Good enough. So there's three fourths of an ounce that I didn't put in. So that's how you do an oil change on the XDRC excavator. If you don't have a syringe to pull the oil out, I don't know a good way of getting as much oil out of the excavator as I did. You might be able to, if you remove the hydraulic line, you might be able to pump out enough oil until the pump stopped turning, which would probably be around the uh, first 20 milliliters that I took out or a little less than half the oil. But I will put links in the description and you can buy these tools that I use for my oil changes. And you too can have fresh changes on your excavator. The oil keeps it running good. That's all I got for today. And if you got any questions, put them in the comments. Feel free to click like. And I will talk to you later.